Hello, my name is Steve Glaze, and I'm the principal of Hallowell Elementary School. I hope you are preparing for a very nice spring break to enjoy this time with your friends and family. As we are gearing up to officially transition to our new school building on April 18th, I wanted to be able to speak to you personally and give you the necessary updates about our new arrival and dismissal procedures. It will feel like the first day of kindergarten for everybody. Come on, let's take a walk around. We begin at the main entrance, located along Moreland Avenue. For safety reasons, there are no entrances to our school directly off of Route 611. As you can see, we have a new electronic sign welcoming our students, families, and visitors to our school. Once you enter the main entrance, all cars will be directed to stay in the far right lane, while buses will be allowed to travel down the center lane as they have a separate drop-off and pick-up location. The bus drop-off and pick-up location occurs here, along the side of the building. Again, this is completely separate from car traffic. Buses will park at an angle in this area, and students will exit the buses in a safe manner and walk directly to the doors behind me where they will be warmly greeted by staff. Once inside the building, students will proceed down the hall to designated areas in order to convene with their classmates by grade level and homeroom. All car traffic will continue along the far right lane and reach a location close to our new gymnasium, right where I'm standing. The drop-off and pickup location for passenger cars is at a separate set of doors from our main entrance doors. Students will pass through the doors behind me and proceed to their designated areas. Students in kindergarten through third grade will convene in the gymnasium with fourth and fifth grade students going to our new cafeteria. Once students have been dropped off by passenger car, all vehicles will continue their loop, stopping at all posted signs. We kindly ask that all cars yield to any school buses that are dropping off or picking up students. The paved loop will return all vehicles back to the main entrance along Moreland Avenue. To keep the flow of traffic moving, please note that all traffic leaving our main entrance must turn right to exit. I am now at the rear of the building, at the entrance along Moreland Avenue that is closest to the intersection with Maple Avenue. This is the drop-off and pick-up loop for our preschool families. If you have a child enrolled in preschool at Hallowell, you are allowed to use this loop for all of your children to enter or exit our school. The arrival time will now be 8.25 a.m. and our dismissal time will be at 3.15 p.m. consistent with our normal times for all students. This same entrance will also be used for any students who walk to and from Hallowell each day. Students must continue to cross at the intersection of Maple and Moreland Avenues under the direction of the crossing guard, walk along the paved sidewalk until they reach this entrance. Once here, students will be greeted by staff to enter the building so they can convene with their classmates upstairs. Walkers will be dismissed from this location in the afternoon. During the school day, Anyone visiting our school is allowed to park in our main parking lot. This lot is different from the bus drop-off and pickup area, which must remain free to allow for bus movement. Once parked, visitors should approach our main entrance, clearly labeled with our school name. Visitors will be required to press the security button and clearly state their name and intended business with members of the office staff. The door will be unlocked remotely leading to a secure vestibule. Once inside the secure vestibule, visitors can approach a member of our office staff to conduct their business. A small pass-through is available to distribute envelopes, small folders, or packages. Otherwise, visitors will be required to sign in at our security kiosk and produce photo identification to be able to enter. Entering the main office leads to a welcome area and the door to the main lobby of our new school. Approved visitors can then travel our school to their destination. Hopefully, this short video has given you some insight and information about how our new school building will require some shifts in our programming and logistics, especially with student arrival and dismissal. I am excited that our years of planning and preparation for this moment have finally arrived. I look forward to seeing you all when school resumes on April 18th and in continuing this breathtaking journey 
toward the fulfillment of our new school building together. Thank you for your continued support.